Mama Puff, don't you worry. I'll get those pants working. Mama Puff, these pants will work just for you. All right, we're done. We're done talking to this person with looks at those feet are weird. Those feet are bothering me. That should not be like that. Oh, and of course we got to start it off with a little moo. Let's go. Stand in the right place. User, so you told me I can't do it if I gra stand from back here. Oh, what do you know, Mr. Mr. Puff, Mrs. Puff, you lied to me. You, how could you? I don't have to stand on the platform. I got it. Okay. I guess I'm having trouble moving from one platform to the other. There we go. Okay. And that thing's in the way, so what do you bet this thing moves it out of the way? Open the door and the truck can drive through. What an oddly built structure. <laughs> Hope y'all are doing well. Sorry I didn't uh, talk about it at the beginning of the video. This is Dallas from Nog TV, and you're watching Creature from the Krusty Krab, which, as I stated last video, Probably the weirdest Spongebob game, at least that I've ever played. I don't know if you've played it. You should give it a try if you have it. <laughs> that is not what you're supposed to do. <laughs> Just <laughs> jump off and totally do the wrong thing. Alright, now we're here. I gotta remember X and Y. I always get them mixed up for some reason. Like, in some games that I've spent tons of hours in, it's like I know. Like, Smash Bros, Mario Kart, I don't get them mixed up. Mario Party. But in this game, I'm like, X and Y, what are those? special parts I have sp never mind. <laughs> oh gosh actually I am gonna go there never mind I'm not psych that's how you keep someone on your toes you just you can't decide whether or not you're gonna make a suggestive joke ooh 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 okay what is this thing in the middle for are we oh I bet we're gonna swing but the anchors aren't there so we can't swing without the anchors Anchor Arms, man. Y'all remember Anchor Arms? Another reason I love playing Spongebob games on the channel is just because it gives me an excuse to start... What was the point of... There's nothing over here. What was the point of getting over here? What was the... Oh, maybe I have to defeat you first. Oh, that's really what that was? Gosh. Can't believe it. Unbelievable. Also, it's such a small distance to use two of those. They probably could have done the same with one, but whatever. Oh, uh, now we gotta open up these doors just to beat more bad guys. Here to play, fellas? Yes, these fellas are here to play. Boom. Then we're gonna run into him. Oh, no, we missed. Uh, oh, that's what happens when we miss. Turn around, SpongeBob. Turn around! Now that we've got the big fat meanies out of the... Oh, spoke too soon. There are indeed more big fat meanies. Yeah, I mean, for real. Why, why play the Spongebob movie game? Why play Battle for Bikini Bottom when you can play Creature from the Krusty Krab? I mean, that's, that's like a top tier Spongebob game, am I right? Right? Guys? So I know that they made... Like, I'm playing this on GameCube... Um, and it's obviously on PS2, it's on Xbox 360, but I know that they also made it on Wii, and I've, I've never played the Wii version, I have a buddy that, uh, I think he, I think he's played the Wii version, because we've talked about it before, that that's the only one he's played, and he wasn't a huge fan of it for, like, the tiny bit that he played. I'll have to talk to him again about it, but I didn't know if that meant that it was different on the Wii, like, the actual, like, level design, the... The gameplay, the moveset and everything. I didn't know if it was a different game. I just always assumed it played the same. I've never played it on the Wii. I thought about it before. There was once I almost got it because it was like 10 bucks at, um, at like a local game exchange. And I was like, oh, you know, 10 bucks for this. You know, what? might as well. It'll give me an excuse to try it. And I literally got all the way up to the counter and was like, nah, I don't, I don't want to. <laughs> you, ever, you ever just think about doing something? And then you think about it again, and you're like, nah, I changed my mind. And you don't know why. That was that was me with Creature from the Krusty Krab on the Wii. I was like, you know, this sounds interesting. Then I thought about it for like two more seconds, and I was like, nope, not anymore. Let me guess, are there going to be enemies that drop in here? 
No, we took an elevator for that. That was wild. Hey, it is an interesting game. We destroy one enemy and it's like, all right, cool. Thank you for doing that. Get those pants working, SpongeBob. Get the, the what? Get those pants working? Oh, Mister. I keep saying Mister, but I'm thinking of Mister Krabs, you know, because they had a long relationship history. Them, her and her uh, and Mama Puff. Mama Puff, don't you worry. I'll get those pants working. Mama Puff, these pants will work just for you. I'm curious why Mama Puff wants to know about my pants so bad. A little odd. She should know that they're square. I mean, everybody does. All right, we hit that switch. And I'm assuming that raises the bridge up, but also lets out enemies. It's odd because a strange amount of switches and, and different mechanics that we've been using have just been to let out more enemies just so that we have to fight more. Cool. If you want to get somewhere faster, you can always use the age-old trick of just rushing everywhere. Just just hold down R. You can get anywhere you need way quicker. Do these hurt me? No. Man, that's not that electrifying if they can't hurt me. Alright, now that's, that button is going to raise that up, and we're going to go get this part. Um, I assume, surely, is that, that's not already it, is it? Like, is there somewhere else to go after that? Because I don't see anywhere else. Maybe, I, is this level already done with? I mean, I've been only recording for like six minutes now. Surely that cannot be the last thing. Is there, okay, we're probably going to go behind. There's got to be something behind it. I mean, that's why, okay, okay. That's why there's a save thing, okay. I was like, there's no way, man, only like a six minute level. That can't be the end of it. What now? Oh, now we're coming out here and there's bad guys, which is good because the level's still going. So I want to hear how many of you guys have actually played this game, like for just a couple minutes or the whole thing. Like, I want to know where my warrior's at. I'm talking the guys and the gals that have actually beat the game and made it all the way through. Or, or if you, like I said, if you just played it for a couple of minutes, maybe you played a level or two. Yeah. Speed King Squarepants. Oh, it's a puzzle. I'm gonna have to push some pieces into place. A lot of P, a lot of alliteration. And maybe we're gonna have to push some P. Okay, so I guess we have to move these things so that we can get somewhere else. And the ground is gonna fall, so you have to stand on these nails. Or screws, whatever they are. I'm not a handyman, so I can't tell you the difference. Are they the same thing? Who knows? One thing I feel like is a little bit lacking, especially in this first area, like, the, it doesn't get off to a strong start, and it's a shame because the middle of the game, like, some of the levels are actually really good, from what I remember being a lot of fun and being really cool and unique and creative. But this first area is just so random and so out there. It's like they were trying to add shock value by purposely making it a very, like, odd game and intentionally making it probably like not the best design so i'm really can i'm really confused i don't know but one thing i'm not a fan of is some of the music that they have some of them some of it's okay the music's not bad but there are certain moments where you'll hear like very generic music or just music compared to like what they had in past spongebob games it's just like uh we had so much better almost went there we had, you know, Battle for Bikini Bottom and Spongebob Movie Game. Cause, and I know I'll, you know, probably for the playthrough, repeat myself a lot and bring those up. But that's that's really what I hold, what I compare Spongebob games to. Because, in my opinion, those are my favorite. And those are probably some of the best. Uh, I do like the new Cosmic Shake. That one's pretty good. That one's pretty up there. That one was really entertaining. I think this is the end. Also, I apologize. I just now, I had it paused to go to the bathroom. And I was like, hmm, options. Are there anything interesting in here? And I realized that there were subtitles. So then you'd kind of probably be able to see, like, what they're actually saying. So hopefully you didn't need that up until now. All right. We got half of it up and running. I think that's half. We got to move that there. It looks like there actually could be a couple different moving parts. Part number two working and ready to go. Okay, so there's two more on the other side. So four total. So I'm assuming some more enemies going to come out eventually, maybe, maybe not. All right, one more left, and I'm actually going to go up here before I do that. Well, no, never mind. That's probably how you get up there. 
I wanted to see what I saw there was a button up there earlier when it zoomed out and I was trying to make sure I didn't miss it but that apparently is how we get up to the button also I love how this one has to be so different like this path is out there and it requires like a couple more uh, times like ramming into it how many times is he going to say a perfect fit I guess he can only say it a max of four if there's only four there but uh, now we're going to get up here and we're going to press that button and see what happens because we also have a little mechanism, a little winch. Oh my gosh. You're going to do that to old Spongebob boy? There you go. There you go. We have to turn it and I guess it's going to, there's two ways it can go. Maybe we got to, maybe, is let go, press A to let go. Okay. What happens here? Oh, it didn't like that. Okay, so let's go this way. Nope. Maybe. Nope. I don't think that's... It doesn't attach. Okay, there we go. I was wait, waiting for it to be spot on. Bruh. Uh... I turned it to... Oh, is it facing the other way? Did I have it... I had it backwards. Duh. <laughs> okay, that makes it easier. It lights up green when it's good to go. That would That would explain a lot, actually. There's a gummy in there, and you know your boy's got to go get it. And I, yes, I know that they're called Sleepy Seeds, and I just called it a gummy. I'm probably just going to intentionally refuse to remember what it's called. Oh, I forgot to turn it first. And I will probably end up still calling it a gummy or a jelly. And I'm sorry, but that's just how it is. All right. Yay, we got this piece. Another car part. Or is it a toaster? Great dialogue here by our guy, Spongebob. Oh, no, no. Don't get hit by the oil, man. Spongebob ain't trying to get all oiled up. So we're not quite to the end yet. I, th I thought that was the end, and I was wrong. We're just going to dash over here. Oh, we still, yeah, we still have a little bit to go. This, this video might only be like two parts. So basically, we have to set up some platforms, I think. So... We have to ram into some of these things, and it will set up some of those grappling hooks we can use, different platforms, or, you know, basically making sure we can get across to that big door it showed earlier. Get rid of all the bad guys. Okay, I can do that. Are you going to get out of the truck? There you go. Wow, got rid of all the bad... Oh my gosh, let me guess. More bad guys arriving in an identical red truck? No way. Who would have predicted it? Oh, it says get rid of all the bad guys again. See, I wasn't going to do that for these. I was going to invite them to tea afterwards. Yeah, the game just makes some interesting choices. It's uh, it's different. It's out there. But, I mean, that's, I guess, supposed to be on brand with it. I don't know. Imagine you're some kid, though, like some younger kid. You're like, oh, mom, 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 a new SpongeBob game came out. Can we go get it? You go get the new SpongeBob game, or like, you know, you ask for it for your birthday, or for Christmas, or whatever. And, or, or, or like, you, you have your allowance, or you get good grades, and you save up with your own money. However, regardless of how you get it, you go up there, and you go to try out the new SpongeBob game. You get it, you come home, you put it in, and this is what you're playing. Imagine how many kids were like really confused, or like, hey, what's, what's going on? You know, it's like, this is so out there. All right, now we're moving this winch. Um, okay, that is going to, okay, it's gonna act as a platform. Now, as you can see here, there is a gummy over there that preferably we want to try to get to. So how are we gonna do that? Well, we're gonna get over here and just start swinging. Because Spongebob's a swinger, folks. You heard it here. Oh, no. Not the train. The train's going to get smushed. That's good. That's good. But now we got to figure out still, how do we get over there? Okay, I got really worried. I was like, what the heck? I was like, I know there's some way to... I was following it because I could see the little trail where you're supposed to hit it. And I was worried that when that one spawned in, the last one we got, I was like, crap, man. Like, what if... What if we hit it the wrong way? Like, what if we were supposed to activate that first? But it looks like we'll be fine now. All right, so after hitting that switch over here, lifts this platform up. Boom, we got a Patrick Sleepy Seed. Yes. Oh, what the heck? He hiccuped. That was weird. 
That was odd. That made me uncomfortable in a couple different ways. Uh, but yes, I actually called it the right thing. And again, r you need to realize how... Uh, and again, notice... Take, you know, take notice of how it reminded me what it was. Each time it wants to remind you what in the world it is that you just collected and why. Because I guess it thinks at some point you'll stop caring and won't keep grabbing them. Alright, we're just going to go grab this because, you know, it's over here. Oh, oh no. The platform's raising up. We can't get it. I bet there's enemies we got to fight to make it lower. Oh, wonderful. Boom, 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 boom. I was hoping they would all come in and I could hit them all at once. But alas, it did not work out that way. I'll never get tired of beating up the big fat meanies. Good thing, because there's a couple of them. They're not unfriendly creatures, SpongeBob. They're big fat meanies. See, look at that. He's big and he's a fat meanie. Okay, we're just going to fight endless waves of enemies, I guess. All right, looks like after defeating them, we get a big ring of Z's that we can go around and collect. Uh, Mama Puff, leathery Mama Puff at that, says that uh, we're becoming one of her best pupils. We grab the part, and I assume that is the end of the area? Maybe? <laughs> yes, after an awkward wait where it's like, what do I do now? Well, oh, it's the end of the level. Who is Dale and why does he keep getting in on this? Really Dale. It's like they make it sound like some kind of like small racing or d d uh, what is it? What was the called? Demo? Yeah, Demo Derby. It's like, oh, Dale, we got a big show on tonight. We got car 99. Go get your coin, dog. It's staying. That's, that's what I think when I think of Demo Derbies. The hot rod is in there. Now I can turbo boost out of my mind. Let's see. Whoa, I don't feel that much faster outside of flames on my car and a small little effect on screen to show me that I'm going faster. Then there's a very blurry, arbitrary, like, little speedometer at the corner that's supposed to make me feel like I'm going fast. Because, oh, you're in the red. You're driving real fast. Long live the speed king. I guess, I guess we're going faster, they just, the actual car itself, it's more about like the effects on screen of, you know, making you feel faster. The actual gameplay itself, I don't, I feel like I'm moving at the exact same pace. But, you know, it's just a Spongebob game, not a racing game. Although Spongebob's boating bash for the Wii was actually kind of fun. That was a sneaky good, like, Wii game and sneaky good Spongebob game. I actually really enjoyed that one. Okay, so the good news is is that you get five of these turbo boosts and uh, you get them like they refresh after every lap. So you can use five of them every lap. So you get up to 15 boosts pretty much for the level. So don't feel like you have to limit them too many times because you'll you'll just get them again. Oh, we're, we're catching up. We're going to pass Gary Gerber. Man, why hasn't Gary said anything? I expect Gary to start talking. I mean, honestly, in all of this wildness and craziness, that would be, like, one of the more predictable things. I feel like would be for Gary to have some, like, deep voice. He, he'll either have a really, like, incredibly deep voice, like a Morgan Freeman voice, or it'll he'll just sound like a coked-up Charlie Day. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, that's, like, the third or fourth time that... Spongebob will say, man, bikini, bikini bottoms sure does look different. That or I'm waiting for the, sp ooh, Speed King. I mean, it's, it's just odd. There's no, like, listen. There's no, oh my gosh, quit saying that. There's no sound, as in, like, no soundtrack. No music. It's just, an, like, the racing sound effects and Spongebob's overused dialogue every couple seconds. All right, we're going to accelerate. And again, we don't actually get to cross the finish line. Oh, are we actually going to finish? Are we actually going to cross the finish line? No, because in the middle of the finish line is a random pit that just appeared there. But hey, I guess, you know, whatever.
I guess if this is all a dream, then you have, you have to kind of remember that. Like, that's the thing is it's, it is going to be really dumb and stupid and out there. And there's going to be a lot going on that you're not going to understand, but that's kind of the point that it's all in a dream. I think they use that a little too. Oh yes. Yes. The girth of a hero. Oh dude. I love this. This is, I think we're going to have to wait till next episode to get in here. But man, this should get you excited for the next episode because I freaking love these levels. These are so much fun. Man, it's mainly just all the presentation of it. Oh, he had a strange dream. Yes, Starfish Man. His his dialogue is way more entertaining than SpongeBob. Look at this. It's like a comic book, man. Look at that. Look at that. The aesthetic. The way everything is, like the the outline on Patrick, just look. Oh my gosh, dude, this is so good. I wish they had done more of it. Like, this is such a neat idea. This looks so way more aesthetically pleasing. This area is so much more fun than the last one, and I wish that they had started out with this one because it would grab people. But they had to be edgy right off the bat. But man, this is so much fun, and you will love it next episode. So please tune in. And keep watching more NOG TV content. Like, subscribe. Bye-bye.